Good day, lords and ladies. Welcome back to Black Book. In the last episode, we were stuck in the forest by the Leshy and we're trying to escape. We have found this strange village and now they're sending us on quests. So, Maria's Crosses. It's quite common to call to come upon Leshy at the crossroads. It is a broad border between our worlds, after all. The fog is beginning to grow thicker. Perhaps you're getting closer to the border of the domain the Leshi gave to the people of Nimzia. You only gradually realize that you have come to a crossroads. The milky haze around you is that thick. Okay, let's see if there's anything we can harvest first. Some healing supplies. These are old crosses here, so just like at Macal's crossroads. Right. Herbs. More fog. Okay, so that's not a lot else besides that. So let's make the circle. Put the offerings on. There are white toadstools growing near the old crosses. Smells like autumn rot. Inspect the crosses. The crosses have turned black and covered with moss. You come closer. Looks like they've been shot with duck shot. The holes look fresh. There are toadstools growing at the crosses. Rotten mushroom. Okay, waste on us. And then let's put some vodka and bread. You unfold the towel, embroidered with perm patterns that Yefim gave you. You put a bottle of vodka and a loaf of bread onto it. With that done, we shall begin the ritual. The circle is drawn. The offerings are here. Everything is ready for the Zagavar. Righteous forest, righteous forest, your children are your servants. The Lord's servant, Galina, Peasant from Nimzia, named by the Lord, is not sold to you, is not given to you. No writings are in her name. Bring me her right this minute. As I told it, so it will be. The raven silently watches you from the fir branch. His eyes burn with strange crimson light, and it's not candlelight reflecting. You're not from Nimzia. The branches look like they repeat the raven's words. No, I'm a visitor here. A witch, but you got lost. Car, car. I followed every rule. Well, I may have forgotten to ask permission. I'm sorry, kind forest. Car. The raven's cawing reminds you of dry laughter. Don't let yourself out. I'm not a lashy. Not exactly. What do you mean? Did I do something wrong with the ritual? The raven walks along the circle's edge, his head bent. So, you're looking for a peasant girl. I will help you. And maybe you will help me in return. What kind of chort are you? Car. Do you know how a Lashri manages his household? We had everything nice and proper until recently. You'll soon learn for yourself. Yourself? How can I help you? First we find the girl, then we talk. I can't manage without a witch. You came in time. In time! If you're not a Lashri, then we're easy. He fell asleep like a regular Ivan. Car, car. He snores so hard the mist bellows. What do you mean fell asleep? Who's looking after the forest? Car, car, car. I need to get out of here. 
Not go looking for that girl. You won't get out of here unless you find the Lashy. He's the one holding you here. Not I. Not I. I want to help you. Yes. Find Galina. Find the one who took her. Took her! All right. But if you're lying to me, where do I find this woman? It's night. We won't go right now. Not with better not. Karr! Come tomorrow to the south of Nimsia. You'll find a dry tree there. And don't go telling anyone what I told you, or it will get worse. Tell no one. Where is that tree? It's a tall tree. You'll find it. Perm people call it Kulpu, the devil's tree. Tell no one. Karr! Karr! You shudder from the sudden cawing. In a moment, the raven disappears in the fog. Your skin crawls. Thinking about it, you blow out the candles and go back to Nimsia. Well, that's interesting. Now we just have to figure out what to do. Four visitors, chorch getting worked up. Uh, and our corruption is going up as well. Not great. I mean, I actually haven't got that much bless, I don't think. With my main deck, do I have any bless at all? No. Which, to be honest, is probably affecting my uh, damage output of my cards, but... Actually, that's a good point. Now that I'm here, I can get more of these ones. That's not been really that useful to me. I want another one of those. For the double damage we can get with Curse. To be honest, I really want another one of these ones because they're really quite powerful as long as we can get the curse up. I'm gonna drop one of these. Pick up another one of those. There we go. Well, with the demon, we don't get bless, which isn't the thing, right? It don't really matter. Less money from battles. Gain waste at the start of a battle. That's fine, we can take it. I mean, if we send him... If I send him, I want to send him on a job that's long... That takes a very long time to do. Three. Three turns, yeah, we can do it for that one. That will keep him out of our hair for a nice long time. But our sins are increasing, so you have to be aware of that. In here, decomposition. Flick damage equal to us, lost last turn. Okay. That plays well into the synergy that we have, because that will add, unlike waste, that basically, well, that will give us a straight up waste. I'm happy with the deck we have, so let's keep going. Visitors. Hey, 
Open up! It's Anissa Ivanovna. I'm not afraid of you, demon Yeritnik. Hey! Don't go bugging your eyes out on me. It's you, right? Cursed Vaska. All them Zeiss talking about you. Snakes spit in your eye. They say you're a witch. Ugh. You'll burn in hell, wayward girl. The pots on the old shelf are shaking from her cries. Looks like Anisia Ivanovna is not stopping anytime soon. <sighs> the problem is the curse of the lessee would take her. Just cover your head, you witch! A pox on your head, you must go filth! As soon as someone speaks a foul word, you latch onto it, demon guides. So the whole village said it. So what? There she is, sitting in the red corner with her filthy book. No justice for you, godless heavens. Because of the likes of you, we are staying here in this fog and nothing grows here, you alien witch. Anisia proceeds in this manner for some time, but eventually she gets tired. She spits on the floor and walks out of your izba. Oh, just met Anisia by the entrance. A wicked woman, my lord. I noticed. Hey, Vasilisa, God helps! Howdy, Vasilisa. This is for you. Gathered some nuts and berries. God helps. Thank you for the gifts. So, how's the things on the crossroads? I couldn't sleep today. Waited the whole night. The raven said not to tell them, so I'm not going to. I was in the crossroads, called Lieshi. For now, it's not your business. Why is it not our business? You are no worse, but not the kind to manage the righteous forest. I will try speaking to Leshi one more time today. Well, I have to go. I will tell you if I have any news. For now... The baffled men walk out of the room and close the doors behind them. Right, I did that because the raven said if we didn't, it, if we did tell people it would make the situation worse, so... Howdy, Vasilisa. God bless. I brought you breakfast. My name is Marfa. I saw you from my window yesterday. You're going to bring Alina back. Go on. I won't bother you. I want to help. I think I know where she might be. We have a river here, Pilva. I was near the bridge and saw it. She was standing there, all in white, on the other bank. It's the truth, I swear to God. I'm screaming to her, Gala, Gala. She doesn't answer. Just standing there, not moving, and I can't see her face. My blood runs cold. I was so scared. I turn around and she's gone. All right. I'll take a look on the other shore if I'm nearby. Oh, thank you, our Redeemer. Tell me tomorrow how it goes. One more visitor. Oh, Vasilisa, you saved my goods. Do you know how much these fabrics cost? Dear God. Thank you. I have nothing to pay you with. Here, at least take some rye bread. That's different from what they usually eat in this filthy Nimzia. Well, God bless you. Okay. Gonna set off. Burned wood. The peasants fight the encroaching forest as best they can. The villagers depart to the fields. Some of them avoid you, going to the other side of the streets and closing their shutters. Others look at you with hope and whisper prayers. You walk some distance from the village and find a fire site. Recently, the locals burned down the forest near the village, trying to stop its growth. An added bonus was the preparation of fertile land for future crops. Demons often settle on such fire sites. The coals of fir trees and pines crunch underneath your feet. You aren't surprised when you discover that the fire attracted evil spirits. Yep, here we go. Right, and he's buffing them, so we actually need to... We need to kill him.
we're going to take damage. This is what happens when you don't have a lot of healing, a lot of uh, attack spells in this deck. So we just have to hold out for the poison to take its effect. He's powering himself up. Alright, kill that one out. Oh, right. He's coming in swinging. Okay. We'll weaken him. Put waste on him. Move positive the status effects. Okay, that's not great. Get some armor up. And then we'll do that. Right, he got rid of bad blood. That's fine. They're both swinging at me, which is not great, but I can just go this. Won't kill him outright, but we can go double curse, which will, and then that, which will boost us up. Time to apply double waste. Yeah, he's healing himself. We'll do curse. Keep putting the curse up so when we get one of our um, triple curse damage cards that are coming out, we'll basically be able to finish him off straight away. Here we go, and we're done. Right, he's good. Add all of uh, add effects to all pages and take for a swipe. Yeah, I mean, I know that the swipes seem to be important for this deck, but I just don't like the card combo. You end up using them. I know there's cards in the black book that you can use to get swipes back. I don't think we have any of them yet. See, so look, swipe, swipe. More swipe. Swipe for every idle chort. Yeah. I don't know, it just seems to be an important one for every enemy that has that. Okay, we already have that. Right. But I just don't like the swipe cards. Khan the Etsak Forest. Having completed all the standard rituals, you step under the forest canopy. Again, you feel as though someone is watching you. Clutching your book tighter, you continue on your way and soon notice an opening to your left. Looks like there are fewer trees there. The forest trail, on the other hand, is full of shadows and darkness. Let's go for the opening. It's definitely easier to walk here, and you have a chance to catch your breath. You think about the trees guarding you silently to the left and to the right. How long have they been keeping this old forest safe? In the mythology of various nations, the forest, above all, represents the animal world. The spirits of the forest tend to take on animal guises. The forest is also a primary dwelling place of forces hostile to man. The village 
against forest opposition is one of the, the main dichotomies in northern Russian culture. But the path to the world of the dead passes through the forest. In myths of some oceanic tribes, the land of the sun lies beyond the forest. According to Selkirk beliefs, the forest housed the entrance to the lower world, a tundra or cape fringed with cedars. Similarly, it's characteristic of Greco-Roman traditions for an impassable virgin forest to surround the entrance to Hades, the underworld, the underground world of the dead. In northern, in, in northern Permia, northern Permia, people hold the forest in specific regard, for it occupied and still occupies the majority of its territory. The forest provided people with food, building materials, fuel for heating. So he fully healed. Vilva Bank, this is one of the side quests they wanted to have here. The forest runs parallel to the village of Gluchaya Vilva. The fog covers the opposite bank so that only the very edge is visible. Suddenly, someone on that side starts up a sad song. You look around, but can't see any bridge nearby. Look for a boat. You search the shore in the hope of finding an abandoned boat, and you are lucky. However, no matter how hard you try to reach the other shore, you can't do it. The Leshi is too powerful. All you can do now is abandon any attempt. Mythology in the environment. Mythology does not exist by itself. It is a way to explain and to interact with surrounding reality. Which is why the figure of the Leshy was central to the Pantheon in the Taiga region. Water spirits also featured heavily. Since rivers were the main route to passage for the region's inhabitants, there is almost a complete absence of spirits in southern Russian tradition. Um, those are the steppes and fields. There are no steppes and duels, and farming developed only gradually. Living conditions and peculiarities of the estate had a strong influence on mythology. When the East Bar, Banya, and Stable are under the same roof, the household spirits become almost indistinguishable from each other and are successfully replaced by a Domovi. Domova, domovio. However, if the buildings are separate, the Domovio, Bannock, and Con, Cons. May assist, and con use henni may assist or even rival one another. Those living conditions are precisely what hap helped shape the mythology of what we see preserved today. Let's not try and turn to the bank because we've always been told it's, a, it's pointless. Right, bad place. This ravine was notorious among Nimzia villagers, even before their village was captured by the Leshi. The steep slopes are lost in the milky haze, which still permeates the local woods. Nevertheless, you hear a quiet rustling coming from below, almost like the flowing of distant water. You also see the figure of a large fir tree rising above the other trees. Let's suspect it. You carefully descend trying not to fall down into the foggy abyss. You soon see the source of the noise. Thousands of squirrels are running along the bottom of the ravine somewhere to the north. Above a living carpet of animals stand several chorts. From time to time, they fish one of them out, bite an unfortunate rodent in half with a crunch, and sprinkle its scurrying relatives with its blood. Squirrels are own of war. Cold dunes are familiar with Lessie, are familiar with Lessies and have agreement with them. A cold dune will help a Lessie drive squirrels and hares from place to place because the Lessie is too late to do it himself. When squirrels move from place to place, it is perceived as an omen of war. It happened before the First World War, the Winter War, and before the Second World War. Interesting. Let's attack them. You open the book and read the first Zagavar. Okay, so what are we squaring off against? Oh, it's these guys. I think. I can't tell. It's very dark. So they're going to basically punt us for a ton unless we put weakness on them, okay? Um... Double curse, oh, put more curse on him. 
get that up. We will take a little bit of damage, but we have healing herbs to get regeneration going. So we take a hit. That's fine. Um, okay, he's going to grow and become more powerful. That's not great for me. Um, he's still up to his old trick. So let's get that up. Throw that back. He's going to become more powerful. And throw some more regeneration into the mix. size. That's not good. They're both growing in size. Okay. Get that out. If we hit him with remove beneficial effect. All of our armor sealed cards came out at the same time unfortunately, so we need to burn through those. They're becoming pretty bad. We probably should kill him off first. Um, more weakness. Okay, so that took him out of the fight. single health hit we can heal up and now we're just waiting for this card there we go fantastic we'll grab this one short birds if as this is as if someone shot this bird to a gun okay just trying to get as much XP as I can this whole forest looks identically grim, even this birch wood. Among the trees stands a forked birch. The old trunk is covered with mushrooms and pulses with a strange, sorcerous power. You touch something hard and take a piece of stale bread with hairs baked inside, as well as nail clippings. This is obviously an offering to the Leshi. Offering to the Leshy increases the strength of status of curses. That's actually pretty good. Because um, that's only strength 3 and this is strength 4. Okay, on to the location that we're supposed to meet the Draven at the Devil Tree. Who boy. You follow your gut, and seem to be getting closer to the tree the raven spoke of. The trees grow closer together here, and you feel the demon presence more intensely. The branches become more and more intertwined, and finally close off your way entirely. You whisper a Zagavar, and witness the result of the Leshi's sorcery. Okay, let's see. Let's grab some herbs first. Symbols. These sorcerer's locks weren't made by humans. Okay. Leshy power, let's do this. You inspect the Leshy symbols. The demon has closed this way with three locks. Without removing them, you can't go any further. 
It is within your powers to unlock them, but each lock is sure to be guarded by his helpers. Let's go. The circle is drawn. You whisper the secret words to open the next lock. The Leshy's guards are quick to arrive. Okay, so what do we got? One of these guys, which is basically vampirism. Okay, so we need to get rid of his vampirism to start off with. And we'll go waste, and then we'll go weakness, and then we'll go well versed. So a nice opening combo. And then smack him with that to get rid of his vampirism. We can't get armor up. Which is not great. He's probably gonna try no, he's gonna try and return his vampirism. Yeah, that's what I thought. So get that. Remove negative status effects. And then we will basically do that. We don't need to use our cards yet. So he's quickly going to be dead. Yeah, and this will finish him off. Okay, what do we want? Eternal damage by swipe. Swipe. I'm just trying to grab all the different types in case we need to buy some. Okay, first, first fight down. Lock has been opened. You catch your breath. Getting ready to open the next one. All right, here. The circle is drawn. You whisper the secret words to open the next lock. The Leshy's guards are quick to arrive. Okay. So what do we got? The trees. Okay. Uh, that's not great. Cause... Yeah, because we need to basically drop that down. Um, they're going to hit us for quite a bit, so we need to armor up. No point attacking them with that. Do we have anything that we can use? Bewilder, perhaps? Yeah, and just hope, because this is going to hurt. Didn't get anything because obviously they haven't actually been cursed yet. Yeah, so we take heavy hits. Heavy hits, okay. Yeah, I don't like you trying to basically do that, mate. Um. Get that out and get this up. We'll throw a healing herb on ourselves to help with some of the healing. One punch that one because we cursed it. Okay. They're both attacking. Okay. Um, waste on that one. That one will do a tiny bit of damage to us. But we can take it. Double the curse on him. And then we'll go... That won't kill it, unfortunately. But we'll have to do that. So we take a bit of damage from the spike. So I'm not happy with that. But it's the best we can do. And I'll throw down a regen on myself to start the healing process. Okay, so that took care of that one. 
took a little bit of damage. We need to heal up. Okay, it's going to heal itself up, which is not great for us, but we can work with this. Right, that one's dead. We got that card. Those two are nice. I'll grab this one. The second right. lock is open. Only one is left. Right, this is going to be interesting. Let's see if we can prep ourselves for anything. It's probably going to be a boss fight, so... Um... We can't take any of the po any of the healing stuff besides the, the standard healing item. Um, okay, let's go for it. The circle is drawn. You whisper the secret words to open the next lock. The Leshy's guards are quick to arrive. Okay, what do we got? Big guy, really big guy. Okay. Um, no point putting those down. It's got no positive status effects. That won't do a ton of damage to him off the bat. Of course, he's going to have like, a ton of armor. Let's boost ourselves. Drop a healing item. He's armoring up. What did he give himself? Keep. Does not vanish. And in two turns he's doing 90 damage to us. Okay. So we need to basically get rid of as much of his attack power as possible. No point punching him for attacks. Get rid of well versed. Okay, next, this turn he's attacking us. Okay. That's not great. I can block some of it. Won't be able to block a ton. We can do this. It won't kill him, but at least it will hurt him enough to do some serious damage. Okay, so we're not going to be dying straight away. We just survived that, fortunately enough. He's got no armor up, so now we can punch him. Which should kill him off. Let's go. Killed him on the spot. Fantastic. Uh, we'll grab this one. I'm just trying, like, my current deck works and I don't need more cards, but those ones can be added to the book. The forest. You feel the earth trembling as the sorcery weakens. I do love the art style in this game. Okay, let's go.
Okay. I'm going to put a save in here. I don't know if it will hold, but we're out of time for the day, unfortunately. So, I've been Cornish Knight. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Steam or leave a comment in the comment section. I shall see you all again next time. Goodbye.